hi there this is going to be a general love reading for the sign of libra hi libras this is going to be for august first half but pretty much whenever it's relevant for you because as we know time is an illusion and energy is fluid right so let's go ahead and get started this is for libra sun moon rising venus signs as well as the cross watcher of the libra let's just get right into it and see what's happening because these are the first half of August readings, there will be an extended version if you would like to purchase that, click below. All right, here we go. Libra. Holy shit. New love. A new person is stirred to romantic feelings and soulmate. Yes, this is your soulmate. They came out together. I almost feel like I wanted to breathe a sigh of relief. This is probably like the way you guys have been feeling like, holy fuck, finally. Like it's finally here. I feel like it's because you did the work though. It's, it's, sometimes we sit there, right? And we go, oh my God, when is it coming? But it's kind of like, well, when are you going to do it? Like, when are you going to let go? When are you going to believe? When are you going to trust? When are you going to align? <gasps> The wheel of fortune, the angel of destiny. Holy shit. Divine timing. But it also happened when you were ready and also you learned your lessons because the wheel turns, right? It's all karmic lessons. Wow, you can't make it up. Wheel turns in your favor. Death, angel of transformation. So an ending had to happen. Then a new beginning started. So yeah, something had to be let go of. Or there had to be an ending, and then this new beginning was able to start. However that works, or for whatever reason, I don't know why. Had to clear things out, clear the cachet, if you will, and then something new. Death also symbolizes Scorpio. One more. Oh, two more came out. Holy shit, the Emperor, Angel of Wisdom, and the Five of Swords, Loss. Oh my god, did you see that? Something's under the fucking emperor. Oh, the fool. Stop it. <coughs> I'm so stunned, I'm choking. Holy shit. That was so shocking. Emperor could be Aries, as we know, okay? But this is... Oh my god! The fool is a brand new beginning, fresh new start. Five of Swords is loss, right? It's, it's, I'm telling you, there is somebody, could, number one, you could have had to lose this person. Let's say this is the same person coming back in, okay? It feels new or whatever it is. Let's just entertain the fact that it could be someone from the past that you know that you've never really been in a relationship in. It comes in brand new. They have to lose you. You know the whole saying, you have to lose things sometimes in order to realize what you had? You don't know what you got till it's gone. That's this, okay? I'm smart now. <laughs> Angel of Wisdom, I've been through shit. I've been without you, and that's how I know I can't live without you. What? I've had to live my life without you. And that's how I know I cannot live without you. Can't live if living is without you. You guys get this brand new fucking beginning. <clears throat> the brand new beginning came when you finally said it can end. I always tell people this, that sometimes the very thing you want, you're not getting when all you have to do is let it go and say no to it. I want to point this out. See how you have trust? The situation is calling for you to have faith. Well, look at what's on the bottom of this deck. Knight of Pentacles, trust. It was like trusting that even if I say goodbye to you, it's you, it's always been you, you're going to just come right back to me is what it feels like <laughs> this is insane the future look at her looking in the crystal ball 
Someone here got, had a prophetic dream. Someone here caught a glimpse of the future. But also what they're saying to you is stop worrying about what didn't happen or what happened in the past. Look towards the future. That's what we have. Trust that even if it didn't work out in the past, we have the future. Future is the only thing not set in stone. It's clairvoyancy also, psychic, you know, psychic abilities, dreaming things, having visions of it. But not only that, it's about focusing on the future. You have light and you have re-energized. Every single reading I do with this deck, re-energized comes out because it's very Leo energy. And right now we are in Leo energy, right? With it being Leo season. So the re-energize is pretty obvious. It's like drained and then plugging back in. It's like plugging in your phone when it's dying. Plugging back in to the light, whether that be the sun. Sun is all about healing. It's all about prosperity. It's success. It's fame. Sun is essential for all living things to grow. Re-energizing off of this sun energy. I'm re-energizing because I'm healing, because I'm growing. This energy is a lighthouse. Even in the dark, I know it's you. Even in the dark. I know it's you even when I'm blindfolded even when I cannot even when you're you're in a different body in a different muggle meat suit I know it's you I have that faith and I have that trust it's always gonna be you remember I told you guys this that um, in 2018 in October I did a reading it was a daily reading and I titled it it's you that energy of the whole, it's you, it's always been you, energy's been coming back up again. And we've already talked to shit about this over and over and over and over for a minute for two motherfucking years. But shit comes back up again, right? Okay. I'm going to do a couple more cards here and then we are going to take this into the extended. And if you feel drawn to purchase the extended, click the link below. Reminder, follow me on Instagram, xi underscore missy underscore xi. And if you have TikTok, follow me there. It's the same handle. You guys have the Wheel of Fortune again. The wheel turns in your favor. Divine timing. Destined and faded. <sighs> Holy fuck. You also have the Ace of Wands and the Ace of Pentacles. Two aces in a row with the wheel of fortune you guys are being gifted with all this abundance and new blessings the ace of pentacles for me is a card of career change or moving it could also be money coming in that you don't see like a big solid you know offer of something but then the ace of wands is also this energy of and so it begins it could be a new solid committed relationship really past i meant to say passionate it could be a really passionate relationship or it could be something you're really passionate about that you're starting like a new business career change but it also feels like you're getting some type of I don't want to say it's a handout. Someone could be reaching out to you. Someone could be gifting you with something. Five of Cups. Tremendous loss here. Twice you have loss. Yes, this is the Five of Swords, but this is the Five of Cups. But there's still the same feeling of loss. Also self-sabotage too, yeah, with the Five of Swords energy. I could have self-sabotaged it because I wasn't in the right energy. That could be very relevant somehow too. But it's also about focusing on the wrong thing. Someone here feels like it's too late. Too late to apologize. It's too late. That's if they fucked up. Eight of Wands. Communication. <sighs> Two of Wands. Making a huge life decision. Huge. It's life changing. He, he's, he's making a, a decision that's going to change and alter the course of his life. I can feel it. Whatever this is. Six of Wands, bottom of the deck. This person could be in the public eye. You or them. It's also public recognition. Saying, hey, well, jo well, hey job well done. Good job. Ten of Swords. Something, something really bad comes to an end. Just when you feel you can't take any more. I can't take any more of this. Pain, this feeling of loss. Just when you think you can't go any further, you can't go on. Something happens. There's a breakthrough. 
the Hierophant and the King of Swords. King of Swords is what? Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. You guys know the King of Swords has been getting on my nerves for a minute. Pretty much all of quarantine. <laughs> Let me tell you why. Now the Queen, the, the Queen of Swords, she's very hasty. She don't take no shit. She don't want to listen to your mouth. She's like, shut the fuck up. She's real, you know, cut off with their heads immediately. She doesn't want to listen to reason. She's not exactly cool, calm, and collected. She's kind of pop offish. Then enter Mr. Cool, Calm, and Collected. And I think that irritates Queen of Swords energy because she's the King of Swords is the higher evolved version of the Queen of Swords energy wise, right? Because he's more, they're both extremely logical, they're both emotionally detached. But he doesn't pop the fuck off like she does. He thinks about it first. That's how come the King of Swords can be seen as a person of authority who has to make a decision, a, a judge, you know, a public figure or someone who is of authority, a leadership figure, right? So I'm, I'm saying it all ba ass backwards right now and I don't know why. I feel like I'm stumbling with my words, but you get my point. It irritates her because he is cool, calm, and collected. But he's supposed to be because he has to make a choice. But sometimes he chooses logic over heart because he's emotionally detached that irritates the fuck out of her too she's more passionate than he is but passionate maybe not in a great way if she's tuning in and 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 in her low vibration because remember all kings and queens can either tap into the dark side the high vibe low vibe whatever right The Hierophant Taurus energy, but the Hierophant is also marriage and commitment. Nine of Wands, someone here was afraid of commitment, right? Wounded warrior. Six of Swords, communication. It, it fell on this, Six of Swords, moving forward, y'all. Communication, that's the breakthrough. Somebody communicates with somebody, it's just, it just takes one moment, one word. It takes one word. Hi. Hey. It's, it's life changing. One last card, the fool. Brand new beginning. Can't make it up. Um, it's twice you have the fool. This brand new beginning with this person or this opportunity in work. But it's also symbolic of taking a leap of faith. Are you brave enough to take this leap of faith? You or them or both of you? It's about, again, trusting that I cannot see the bottom. Trusting that even though I don't know the outcome, my gut tells me. And I've also thought about it logically. Everything tells me that this is what it is. But I also trust that some things are not meant for me to see because I would still know it's you. Even if all the lights were off in the room, I would still recognize you, even if I couldn't see you. It's a recognition of somebody's soul. You may not remember the physical of them, but it's the recognition of someone's soul. I, I would know it's you, even in, a, in even if I was blindfolded. I, just, I would know it's you. All right, guys. If this resonates, click on the link below. Purchase the extended. I'll see you guys there. Follow me on Instagram, xi underscore missy underscore xi. Follow me on TikTok also. Also, if you guys, thank you for all your likes, your shares, and your subscriptions here on YouTube, of course. And also, if you want to book a reading with me, click on the link below. See what I offer first in all of my description boxes. And then shoot me an email so that I can invoice you and put it in the title of the email, what reading you want. Um, I've also restocked with some crystal bracelets, which I know it's been a minute. My daughter's new bracelet that she chose, she chose the Dragon Vein Agate Stones. It's pink and purple, gorgeous. I finally restocked those, as well as I restocked my Atlantis and my A Star is Born. So again, if you wanna purchase those, click on the link below. Everything's on my website, okay? So if you have any questions about purchasing videos or these are the extended videos okay or bracelets you go there if you're looking to book a, a person a personal private reading then you email me directly i don't know why i'm tongue-tied with you guys that could be symbolic because i wasn't tongue-tied when i so just did it again i wasn't tongue-tied when i was doing aquarius reading right before this i don't know or maybe i wasn't i don't remember but i don't think so all right i'm gonna do the extended i love you guys bye